I would put on a creative radio seminar every year for many years. You may remember, Steve. So it was where I would rent a theater in Toronto and we would have 200 young writers from across the country come for the day. And then I would get on the stage for seven hours and, and literally tell them every trick I'd ever learned about radio. You know, script structure, comedy versus drama, use of sound effects, studio protocol, uh, 30 versus 60, all of that, right? Mm. And someone that I know who attended that one day, um, Larry McGinnis, who was the creative director at Chum Radio at the time, he said to me, you know that radio seminar you do, that would make a great radio show. And I said, who would ever run that? And he thought for a second, he said, CBC. And I said this, the advertising free CBC would run a show on advertising. And he said, I think they'd run that one. So we had a good laugh about that. We were, we were out at lunch and the next day, I couldn't get it out of my brain. And Mike Tennant, who's another great radio writer was at that lunch and he called me up and said, I think Larry's onto something. He said, do you wanna try and pitch a show to the CBC? And I said, okay, let's try that. So we kind of came up with an idea of what it could be. And we went, uh, Mike had a connection at CBC. So he managed to get us a meeting. When I look back about how lucky we were, we actually got a meeting with the head of CBC radio, which is pretty, pretty amazing. Cause usually you would have, you would have to work your way up to that level somehow. Right. But for whatever reason, he showed up in the meeting, Chris Boyce. And we, pre we presented our, the idea to the show was, was so, it was so short and sweet. We basically said this, advertising is this is like architecture it's everywhere in your life and most people hate it and find it annoying and intrusive but the but the reality is it's a fascinating industry because it's the study of human nature and nobody knows more about why, why what makes people tick than the advertising industry and i said we're we're not pundits we're not journalists we're not academics we're working ad men in the trenches we have the stories and we have the access and we want to give people a backstage pass to the closed world of advertising. That was the whole pitch. That was the whole pitch. And Mike and I, when we were going up in the elevator that day, we basically said to each other, CBC will never buy this in a million years, but maybe they'll like us enough that maybe they'll want us to do something else. And maybe there's another opportunity here. So when we made that pitch to Chris Boyce, he leaned back in his chair and he said, we'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> Mike and I literally had to figure out how to mount a national radio show. Well, it's a that first of all amazing story. Love love to hear the background on that, and um, it, it's really interesting. I mean, so you have this elevator pitch, and and it sounds like the thrust of the elevator pitch is to overcome a certain stigma that's associated with advertising. And uh, you know, sometimes when I talk to people, I'll, I'll you know, people can see advertising as a real scourge. Um, oftentimes because it's not very well done and there's only a very elite amount of people who can do it well and make it entertaining and it's a joy. Um, and, um, but, at the, but at the same time, I always think about clients in that way because, you know, you have all these clients that, you know, they have a dream and they've created a company and they're entrepreneurial and now they need someone to be their voice and we get to do something like that. Um, so it's kind of interesting to hear that because, um, because I'm sure, to your point, People didn't think that that was an industry that they wanted to. It's sort of like I'm going to pitch a show on on used car salesmanship or something like that. And who would want that? So, you know what, Steve? When we when the first the first they took us on as a a uh, an eight week summer replacement series. So when one of their big shows went on hiatus for July and August, they put us in that slot. And it was called O'Reilly on Advertising. That was the name we kind of settled on, kind of a play on Ogilvy on Advertising. And um, when the first show, first episode hit the air, Mike and I braced ourselves for blowback from CBC listeners because here was a show. I mean, as I say, you know, people, you know, are on, listen to CBC to get away from advertising and they, they flee <laughs> to CBC to get away from it. And then suddenly here was a show about advertising. We braced ourselves for incredible blowback. And what we got was incredible support and curiosity and really kind emails saying, gee, we really like your show. Uh, very surprising. I never thought of it that way. Tell us more. Very, like it was just wonderful feedback. And as a matter of fact, halfway through that, probably after four weeks or five weeks of shows, CBC said, we want to keep you on. 
so suddenly that eight week show became a whole season and then it i just started my 16th season on cbc last month